Hello and welcome to Tech Central. In today's video I will be unboxing and setting up the Xbox One wireless adapter for Windows. <laughs> So starting off with the unboxing, I had no issues at all with unboxing as it was straightforward as cutting some tabs at the front of the box. So once I opened the box, I was immediately presented with the Xbox adapter itself, which is almost good as you don't want to fidget around looking for it. Other than that, the box included some manuals in different languages and the USB extension cable if you need to move the Xbox adapter within range of your controllers. However, I didn't find myself using it, but it's there if you need it. And that's pretty much it for the unboxing side of things. Let's move on to the setup. It's time to set up the Xbox One adapter. So the first step is to simply insert the Xbox One adapter into a USB port. Once inserted, you should see that the drivers have started installing. Give this process a few minutes to complete. At this point, you'll see that the Xbox One adapter has been recognised and the driver installation is about to complete. And once you see the window disappear, you are ready to connect the Xbox One controller. Since this is the first time we'll be setting up the Xbox One controller on the PC, we will need to sync the controller with the adapter. Do this by pressing the sync button on top of the Xbox One controller, and also press the sync button on the Xbox One adapter. You will know that both devices are in sync mode when you see a flashing light on both controller and adapter. For PC users, this will be the only time you need to perform this step. For Xbox One users who plan to switch between their console and PC, you will need to sync your controller every time you make a switch. After about 30 seconds, the controller and adapter should start flashing, which means your controller is connected and ready to use. Now it's time to play some GTA! final step is to turn off the Xbox One controller. Hold the Xbox Home button on the controller for 5 seconds until you see the light fade away. To turn it back on for future use, just hold the Home button for a few seconds and it will connect within 10 seconds. And that is how you set up the Xbox One adapter for Windows. If you found this video useful, feel free to leave a like. If you have a suggestion for a future video, please let me know by commenting down below. Until next time you've been watching Tech Central, peace out.